my people good evening welcome back to the very channel we are here with more news and more updates thank you for tuning in thank you for stopping by please do remember to subscribe as always thank you very much my people now the news is this it, it seems uh, Simon Eba just misfired I noticed it because the reaction of Tunubu after he said he would send troops to Niger Republic and Unfortunately, per se, our Prime Minister just said the moment he's sending troops to Niger would declare Biafra. And he noticed that that's a sharp strategy that would have broken the camel's back. Serious. Had it been Mazi Simon Eba did not say that, have it in mind and then do it. Serious. By now, maybe <laughs> the heat of that thing would have come down and then Biafra must have come but Tunupu sensed that serious and sharp idea he said now let me read earlier in his opening speech president Bola Tunubu, who is chairman of ECOWAS head of state and government said that the body was still optimistic of achieving a diplomatic solution to the crisis he said that the ECOWAS heads were desirous of reaching a consensus on the crisis as a way of setting exemplary precedents in the region against undemocratic change of government. As you may recall, we called on the junta to rescind its decision of topping toppling the uh, legitimate government. We proceeded to impose sanctions with the hope that this res resolute measure will serve as a catalyst for the restoration of constitutional order in Niger. Regrettably, the seven-day ultimatum we issued during the first summit has not yielded the desired outcome. Only through this comprehensive assessment can we collectively chart a sustainable path towards lasting peace stability and prosperity in this year the fear of coming of biafra that is actually what made tunubu to withdraw he said their seven days ultimatum did not yield results because they think niger republic is nigeria where they intimidate protesters when you want to protest, they will use gun to intimidate you. You will go inside because you don't want to die. This time around, they saw Nigerian troops cutting their own necks with knife, and the blood was blood was not gushing out. So they were afraid of the giants. These men we are big and huge in size. They are huge. You understand? Highly fortified with juju of. of Tunubu has seen it. He's not the only one that uses juju. I'm telling you. He was so afraid. He was so very much afraid because by the time they will receive it water water from this end and then receive it water water from Biafra end, Nigeria will be no more. And that is their company. That is their business. You see, they don't play with Nigeria. Anything that will divide this Nigeria, they will want to divide that person. Because Nigeria is a lawless state where group of criminals are doing what, cons what they deem fit. Yes, they don't care about anybody. They don't care about the masses. They have no conscience of any sort. So it's only in Nigeria that such things can be happening. A country where they have a crude oil and yet, their country looks dilapidated. Their roads has nothing good to write on about. They are supplying light to Niger, but they don't have light in Nigeria. You see, that's the level of lawlessness. Immediately, you talk about protests that time. Oh my God, they will do everything. They will buy anybody. They will lobby countries. They will do a lot to stop the protests. But that which is propelling the protest, they will not address it. Educational system, zero. Bad road, everywhere. 
no light, no water. I'm telling you, hike in price, devaluation of Naira, everything you can think of or imagine, that is what they are doing. And you say, when would the end of this nonsense? What we are saying in this is that, Simon Eber, you as the Prime Minister of Biafra, as the arrowhead right now as we speak, should not be saying everything you want to do online. Don't say it. Because these enemies listen to these radios, to these communication centers, morning, day and night, so as to know your moves, to know your achievements, to know all you want to do. And the moment they notice it, you will just be receiving reaction, counter reactions to what you planned. Please be proactive and be silent to some things. I'm telling you. Yes, you can be telling us or updating us, but please make sure you are silent. And most times, take the bull by the horn. Taking bull by the horn makes a whole lot of difference. These Nigerian people, Nigerian people did not make announcement of what they wanted to do. If not, they will not be able to achieve it. They took the bull by the horn. They shocked, in fact, the government and overthrew it. That's how they do it. You understand? The same issues that Mazin Amdekan was having, always saying his plans and not even doing it as fast as possible. You see, that was how they abducted him. Because he's free. He wants to be transparent. And why? Why this? So, dear friends, that's the essence of this news at this particular time. Any of us that can reach Simon Eber, please reach him out. Reach out to him and tell him to minimize the ideas he's sharing online. Let Nigerian State be on the reaction. Be on the action, Simon Eber. Keep moving. Move ahead of them. And one day it will be God will tell you when to declare Biafra and how to declare it because it's a very fragile um, step to take. Very, very narrow. Yes, if you declare it and you'll be able to defend it, so it will be. That is it. My dear people, I just want to, to please drop your opinion on this very news. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.